Hey YouTube, it's me Sharice again and I'm here with a Makeup Monday tutorial. So as you can see, my face is already done. I already have on my foundation. You know, I normally don't use concealer. I just typically use a lighter foundation. So today I'm just going to show you what I used. And I used the Black Radiance Color Perfect Liquid Oil Free Makeup. And I used two different colors. I use this lighter color which is called Rum Spice 8413 on the inner innermost parts of my face, the, fa the parts of your face where you see people use concealer or that they highlight. And on the outsides of my face I used this color Cashmere which is 8412 and I'm just going to show them both together. As you can see this one is more of a reddish brown and this is more of a yellow brown. And so that works perfect together for my skin. So that is what I have on my face. And just to mention, these are both under $5. I got mine at Walmart. Black Radiance. Don't sleep on it. These are really good foundations. They don't transfer. They dry to a nice matte finish. You do not have to set them, but you should prime. I use the Black Radiance primer since I was using the Black Radiance foundation. So that is what's on my face. My eyebrows, as you can see are not as big as in my eyebrow tutorial because I used a mirror and um, I spent a little bit more time but this is how I normally like for my eyebrows to be this is more realistic and more natural for my eyebrow shape because I have really thin eyebrows so just to get a close-up and basically all I did was use the black eyeliner pencil or and the brown eyeliner pencil that's all I use on my brows I don't use concealer I don't go in and like clean them up I just take my time and Fill them in and draw them on very nicely. So that's what's on my face. Now let's move on to the eyes. Um, oops, I forgot to do one eye to have it ready. But oh well. So today I'm just going to do a simple look that I think is good for all skin colors, all eye colors. And basically it's just going to be a gold lid with brown on the outside, which is one of the looks that I get the most compliments on. People always tell me that, you know, that's just the perfect amount of makeup or that's not too much or it just really brings out your eyes. So this is for somebody who isn't looking for a super hard, complicated um, eye look. And the makeup palettes I'm using are from Wet n Wild. This one is the I'm Getting Sunburn, which is one of my personal favorites. I love that gold color and the brown above it. It's like they're both really shimmery and glittery. And I'm using their... The Naked Truth palette, which I don't like this one as much, but I'm using it because it has a matte brown. But I love Wet n Wild eyeshadows. They're really inexpensive. You can find them at basically every kind of store. Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Walmart, Target, Dollar General, Family Dollar, like everywhere. So these are really inexpensive and really good. And you'll notice that in my videos, I only use drugstore makeup basically because, you know, I'm a college student and can't afford that high-end stuff. And really, drugstore looks just as good as high-end. So it's about the quality, not the price. So just keep that in mind. So let's get started. So for my lid, I'm going to use that gold color from the I'm Getting Sunburn palette. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. Eyeshadow C brush. And I use this to pack on eyeshadows. And all you're going to do is just put that all over your lid. And this eyeshadow kind of has fallout, but not really. So I like to just press it on. And you can prime your eyelids if you want, but because I put um, foundation on my eyelids, I don't feel like I need to prime them. If you prime your eyelids, that's just going to make your shadows last longer and make sure that they don't crease. And I kind of sweep back and forth. But literally, you're just going to press it on over your whole eyelid. Make sure that you get all the way down to your lash line. That's one eye. And really, if you're not really that much into makeup, you can stop right here with this gold color. It really is just so pretty. You can wear it alone. And it will just add that extra little touch to your makeup. Just put on some mascara and go, girl. So that's why I really like this color. It's just, this gold is just awesome. It's really pretty. And a lot of times, if I'm in a rush, I'll just wear this alone with mascara. And this is my makeup for the day. If I want to be a little bit fancy, I wear eyeshadow. Most days, I don't wear eyeshadow, though. 
just because it takes a little extra time to put on. So that's that part you can see. Just call it on the lids. Next, we're going to go in to the other um, Wet n Wild palette, The Naked Truth. Sorry, my nose is running. And um, I'm going to take a random Coastal Scents brush from their um, like 32 brush set or 28 brush set. Just a random kind of fluffy brush. You see it's um, not very dense. And I'm going to go into that middle color called the Definer, which is just a matte brown. And I'm going to tap it in there, like so. And I'm going to lightly dab it on the outer one-third of my eye and kind of blend it in the crease. And you want to overlap it with the gold just a little bit. But you don't want to go past the center of your eye. I want to keep it mostly on the outer one third of your eye. And I'm going into the hollow of my eye, like the crease where it will naturally fall on. You see that? That is your socket. And you want to make sure you put some brown in there too because it helps define your eye shape. And depending on how smoky we want to go or if it's day or night, you can add more brown or instead of using a matte brown, if it's nighttime, you can use a matte black. But because it's daytime, it's the morning, it's actually 7.50 a.m. I tend to wake up around 6.30 a.m., so I'm just a morning person. But depending on if it's day or night, if it's day, I would say use a brown because it's softer. If it's night and you're going out, you know, I'm going to do a little turning up. I would say use black for a more smoky look. But this is like a daytime smoky, just using gold and brown. So you can see that. Just look at the difference between just using gold and then adding that brown. Really just adds a little oomph when you use two colors. So for people who are really simple, you can just stop here if you just want to do gold and brown. But for me, I like a little bit more glam look. So I'm going back into the same, the Naked Truth palette from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to get this crease color, which is this beautiful, um, kind of like an almond color. I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's brown, but it's like a light brown I don't even know but it has a lot of gold reflex in it which are really pretty and the brown isn't as dark as the color that we just put on the outer one third but it's almost close to my skin tone I'll say kind of ish but a little bit lighter but I like it because it has the gold glitter in it and that I'm just gonna use like over the crease I guess you could say as a transition color I'm just gonna take a little bit and go over my entire socket area so from the inner corner all the way out slightly above where we place that dark brown as a transition color. So I'm just going to wipe it back and forth. And this just gives your eyes um, like extra flow and seamlessness between the colors. It just helps everything just like blend together nicely. Like I said, you want to take this on the outside of that dark brown, slightly overlapping just a little bit but on the outside of it because it's a transition. Alrighty. So that's it for um, the top of my eyes. And you see there's a little fallout on my nose, that glitter. Just wipe that off. And that's basically all that I do for the actual eyelid. Now if you want to go an even further step, you can just stop right here. Like any of this, you can just stop at the first step or you can keep adding if you want to make it more glam. Another thing I like to do is highlight the inner tear duct of my eye. And so from that same, the Naked Truth palette, the brow bone color I'm going to use in my inner tear duct. And I'm using another Coastal Scents brush from their like 38 palette or however many number palette. I mean that palette, but brush set. And this color is like a frosty kind of white. It's like a glittery white gray color. And I'm literally just putting that on the inner tear duct. And this really just opens up and brighten the, brightens your eyes even more. And it will bring more attention to your eyes. So people are going to be looking at your eyes and looking you in the face if you put a little bit of a lighter color in your inner tear duct. So I hope you don't mind. But people probably already look at you guys because I know all of you are beautiful. Because you're made in God's image. And I mean that. 
Anyways, let's keep going. Sorry, a little sentimental moment. <laughs> so I do this just to brighten up my eyes. You can see that, you know, it brings, you want to look at my eyes because they're popping. And so that's all I do for eyeshadow. Sometimes I like to put eyeshadow on the bottom lash line, but most of the time I don't because I feel like if I do the tops, that's enough. And sometimes I like to use liquid liner, but today I'm not. I'm using a Wet n Wild Color Icon um, pencil. And this color is like a dark navy blue. Um, I've used it so much that I actually have sharpened over the tag where it has the real color. Oh, it says it actually right here. It says deep blue number 657. So you can see that, but it's just a nice dark blue. And if you have brown eyes, blues and dark greens look really good for like eyeliner. And if you have green eyes, purple and blue also look really good. And if you have blue eyes, purple also looks really good for like eyeliner. If you want to do a colored eyeliner instead of just plain black. So I'm going to use this navy blue because I don't feel like doing liquid. And I'm basically just going to line my upper lash line and I'm kind of tight lining a little bit as well and tight lining is when you kind of squeeze in between it's kind of sounds scary but you squeeze like in between where your upper lash line and your bottom lash line meet to get as close as you can to the base of your lashes so I do that with some navy blue Just because navy blue helps bring out brown eyes. Sometimes I like to use purple as well. Because purple also looks good with brown eyes. And I'm pulling my um, eye gently because... Oops, I just put some on, the, on my eyelid. Um, because it's hard to do it when your skin is like moving around. So I'm pulling the skin kind of taut so that the eyeliner goes on smoothly. And you just see that also just defines your eyes even more. It's the small little details that really make makeup pop. And um, if you want, you can put some on the bottom lash line. I'm just going to do a little bit on the outer part to define my eyes even more. Just on the very outermost part. Just a little bit. And you can see that brings out your eyes even more. So we're almost done. Another thing I like to do to bring my eyes out is to use even more gold. And I have this gold, this seed's really gold. This really gold glam shadow stick from NYX, which I got on a photo shoot. Um, we used it for my look and she let me keep all the makeup that she bought because she's like, I can't wear this because I don't know why she thought she couldn't wear it, but she could definitely rock this. Um, and I like to take this and put it on the other part of my lash line where I don't put the blue and see you can stop wherever you may not like this gold on the bottom you may you may not it doesn't hurt me any if you omit any of the steps but that really just makes my eyes pop even more and it just really brings the attention to my to my eyes which is what I like I like for people to look at my face and my eyes not anything below my neck you know I like men to look up here so that's why I like to really play up on my eyes. So basically the last thing you're going to do for your eyes is add mascara. If you want to wear false lashes, you go ahead and wear fast false lashes. I only wear false lashes when I'm doing a photo shoot. And the mascara I'm using is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lash in Carbon Black, which you guys know is my favorite because it looks like a little telescope. And I just do several coats. As you can see, my lashes are um, sort of kind of long, but they're really thin, so I have to do a lot of coats. And sorry if I keep sniffling, because my nose is kind of congested. I've got allergies, and all the pollen and the bugs here in the south don't really mix well with me. But yeah, mascara is one of my favorite beauty products, and I totally just hit my eye. 
I don't know if you saw that. But that kind of hurt. But that's what happens when you're not using a mirror. And you're just looking at your computer screen. Now my eyes are going to water and probably shed some tears. You can tell it's red. Just hit myself in the eye. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. The things we do for YouTube, right? And just so you can get a close-up of how that eye looks, how my eyes look. <laughs> See, I'm crying. Never thought you guys would see me cry, but... Okay. Come on, mascara. So, just apply as many coats as you want to get the desired look, or just pop on some false lashes. And, um, you can put mascara on your bottom, too. Sorry, my eyes are probably going to keep watering throughout the rest of the video. But you can put, um... Mascara on your bottoms too, but I don't like to put mascara on the bottoms. And to finish off, that's the completed eye look, but to finish off the rest of my makeup, I'm going to add some blush. I know a lot of people are scared of blush. If you don't want to wear blush, don't. Like, you really don't, you don't really need blush. Well, you don't need makeup. This is all just extra to enhance your natural beauty. And the blush I'm going to use is from Black Radiance, and it's called Raspberry. And it's one of their Artisan Color Baked Blushes. And you can see that's a really pretty, like, deep pink. And it looks really pretty on darker skin tones. But I can see this looking bomb on really fair skin as well. And I'm just taking another one of those Coastal Sense brushes from their set. And I like to rub the, um, the way it's shaped. It's kind of slanted. And I like to take the, the tip of it and just rub it in the blush. And then I just very gently apply it to the higher points of my cheek. So like basically on my cheekbone. Because the apples of my cheeks are, my cheeks are really big and, and um, kind of chubby. So if I apply it on the apple of my cheeks, it will be really low on my face. Just because of my bone structure. And it just looks, it looks really creepy. So I just kind of take it on my, my, um, what is this called? I just said it. Your cheekbone. There we go. And like I said, you can stop at any point in this makeup process. You can just stop and then just add mascara. So if you don't want to do blush, don't do blush. I personally love blush. That's one of my favorite, like, beauty products that I'm kind of getting into. I love some blush. It just really... Add some color to your face. So you can see the area. Right on that cheekbone. And then I take the flat side of it and then I use that to like blend it out more. And to diffuse it. And you can see that's just a little bit of color like not too much. I'm not looking crazy or like a crown but just a nice flush of this beautiful raspberry black radiance blush and the last thing I'm going to do for this look is add lipstick and this is one of my favorite lipsticks which is from who is this by wet and wild wet and wild has awesome lipsticks they make awesome um, eyeshadows they have awesome really cheap affordable but quality makeup and you can just see that blush, just so you can see. It's a nice light amount. It's natural, not crazy. And this color is called Cherry Picking 965. And I'm going to swatch this on my hand so you guys can see how bright and pigmented it is. Look at that color. Sorry, my hand's super ashy. I was, you know, washing my face and stuff and cleaning. Look at how bright that pink is. And when I say this color looks good on every skin tone, like I have an Indian best friend. Her name's Naziha. I hope, wonder if she watches my videos. Hey. But she looks gorgeous in this. And of course, she's lighter than me. I have, you know, red hair, freckled, looks like um, Wendy on the Wendy's, um, with the pigtails on the Wendy's uh, billboard thingy. She can wear this color. It looks so pretty. I have a friend from Africa, from Ghana specifically. And she wears this color, it looks pretty, and she's she's darker than me. It just this lipstick is just 
the bomb. So this is the last thing I do is put on lipstick. Sometimes I put on lipstick before I brush my teeth, which can be a problem. But you can see how bright it is. And like I said, you don't have to put on this lipstick. You can do any lipstick you want with this eye look because it's very neutral. All we used was golden brown. So you can do a gold lip, you can do a purple lip, you can do this like hot deep pink lip. We can do a nude lip. Do whatever you want. But for me, I'm just feeling this lipstick today. Mm. So, this is my completed Makeup Monday look. And just so you know, all this makeup is drugstore. Um, the Coastal Sense brushes I ordered off their website. You do have to order the brushes off their website. But all the other makeup can be found at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, Target. And if you live near an Ulta, you can always go to Ulta for like NYX. But NYX I think is also in Walmart now too. But I hope you enjoyed this look. So you can see. Serve some face to you. That is the look. I hope you guys enjoy this look. And um, if you want comments of any other color combinations or any other looks to do, please leave them below. Or you can go to my Instagram and comment on my pictures. Tell me what colors you want to see. Tell me what lip colors you want to see. Tell me what you want and I will give it to you. Okay? So thank you again. Have a marvelous Monday. And remember that you are beautiful with or without makeup because you are created in the image of God. Hallelujah.